Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Hasib Electronics. Video number 263 on my channel for discontinuous flyback SMPS circuit design. In this video, I discussed how we can select output, input. And then I discussed how we can calculate DC rail and how we can select a bulk capacitor. First of all, I will apologize. Yesterday, I did a small mistake that is just only for in writing. I calculated the value exactly when I was converting. It was 5.6. So it is 5.6. 56 microfarad. So it is within the range. I have some questions from my friends. There was a doubt in load regulation 0.2% and ripples maximum ripples 10 millivolt what are these ripples these ripples are in output voltage what was the confusion to my friends that I discussed 10 millivolt 10 millivolt ripples but when we calculate here V ripples it is 15 percent so these are two different things output 5 volt 2 ampere this is our rated output maximum output V secondary 5 volt plus minus 1 percent when we say we need 5 volt 1 plus minus 1 percent that means 5 multiplied by 1 divided by 101 percent it is 0 0.05 volt we can allow 0 0.05 plus or minus so if it is plus that means 5.05 and if we make it minus from 5 volt so it is 4.95 volt so our output can be within this window we need 5 volt but our if our output is 4.95 volt and 5.05 volt why this when we make calculation some components have tolerance so we have to keep in mind the tolerance so our output voltage might be 4.95 volt or 5.05 maximum then we have load regulation load regulation is in percent it is 0.2 percent what is the load regulation for example I connected a minimum load that is 0.2 ampere connected minimum load 0.2 ampere to this power supply with this load it is giving me this output 5 volt and if I put a sudden load at this voltage of 5, 2 ampere so there should be a voltage drop we can allow this power supply to change the voltage maximum plus minus 2% if we change load from maximum to minimum or min minimum to maximum if we are, we are running at 2 ampere and suddenly I disconnect the load so how much the voltage level should go up that is 0.2% that means it is 0 0.01 volt plus 5 volt so our supply can go up to 5.01 volt or minus so this power supply can go 4.99 volt 4.99 volt to 5.01 volt this is the load effect and if we have a line variation suppose this power supply was working at minimum voltage 85 volt and suddenly the voltage increased up to 220 volt 245 volt 265 volt the maximum limit which we discussed here 85 to 265 volt if we have any fluctuation in the input side how much 
the output should vary the same 0.2 percent that is 4.99 volt 5.01 volt if it is giving 5 volt the output can vary 0 0.01 volt 4.99 to 5 point plus or minus if the voltage go up or down it is called line regulation load regulation line regulation and maximum ripples these ripples this is DC voltage DC level 0 volt 5 volt because it is it is high frequency switching there is a transformer there is a filter even after passing this these filters capacitors there are still ripples what are that 10 millivolt 5 volt 5 millivolt up 5 millivolt down so this level we can accept this window the variation in this window it is 10 millivolt the ripples 5 volt is average 5 millivolt plus or 5 volt 5 millivolt minus minus or plus so 10 millivolt ripple level will available might be available in the output so this power supply can be accepted so it is our output parameters now then there is another thing these ripples are different thing my friends asked question that here I am telling 10 millivolt so why here are ripples 18 volts if we say I have 85 volt 85 volt RMS Let's convert it into peak 120.20 volt this is V in peak when we convert it here so 80, 85 volt that is RMS when we convert it it will peak voltage when it will rectify bridge rectifier will rectify so we will find ripples here ripple ripple current ripple frequency here output of the bridge so that ripples are set up to 10 to 15 percent in the output of the bridge because it is filling the off period of one diode by the second half so we find positive and negative peaks in one direction here so frequency is doubled so that is the reason our ripple rate will reduce up to 10 to 15 percent and we will allow it maximum 15 percent in normal cases that is 10 percent but I am setting here 15 percent so if we set 15 percent that means 120 volt multiplied by point 15 that is 18 volt so our 18 volt peaks of the ripples will available here to reduce these ripples we need this capacitor then uh, then there was another question for VDC high so VDC high the same V in peak the maximum peak voltage how much we discussed that our line voltage can go up to 265 volt because we are designing this power supply at 265 volt so 265 select the peak 265 multiplied by 2 square root that is 374 volt you can say it is 375 volt then calculate 375 the same formula 15 percent peak peak ripples multiplied by 0 0.15 
ripples that is 56 volt 56 divide by 2 it is 28 volt the same here here was 18 volt so when the voltage level increased the ripple rate will increase so we have 28 point one two five three hundred seventy five mi minus twenty eight volt that is three hundred seventy forty seven and we will minus the voltage of bridge rectifier two diodes so it's approximately three hundred forty five volt maximum these voltage are for calculation to our SMPS circuit our voltage 110 volt that is minimum volt and we can set it the lowest 100 volt we will design our circuit at 100 volt so that our supply will more versatile it will become more universal so that other all losses for input protection circuit will covered here these were the questions on my last video so it was the clarifications and questions on my last video. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.